so hello everyone and welcome to desk prep card uh, today we have another interesting video for you guys and it's specially for ib students who are planning to crack j email this video is specifically for uh, the physics syllabus and with us we have mr navin dube who is an ib and j email physics expert thank you for joining us sir welcome thank you so in this video we'll be uh, analyzing and comparing the syllabus of je main physics to an ib student and cbse student hello everyone uh, so here we are going to uh, look at the, the physics uh, syllabus content for je mains and trying to compare it uh, for ib student right so uh, in this presentation there is a list of topics and we try to do a comparative analysis on the basis of difficulty level of questions in j mains and ib students uh, ib physics in fact so uh, as far as syllabus is concerned uh, the cbse syllabus is exactly uh, matches with j mains pattern but in ib syllabus uh, uh, many topics included very briefly which are very important part in j mains examination and if you can see like if we talk about uh, uh, first unit that is physics and measurement so the difficulty level of questions based on measurement in j mains or ib students uh, or ib uh, curriculum uh, both are medium difficulty or moderate difficulty we can say kinematics is a very important topic in uh, j mains and we get medium and high difficulty level problems uh, based on topics kinematics laws of motion and work energy and power in ib syllabus these three topics are included in a single unit name mechanics and there is a brief introduction of these topics we do not get into uh, very much details uh, of uh, kinematics laws of motion and work and energy right similarly rotation is one of the most significant topic in j mains curriculum uh, we generally encounter high difficulty level problems in j mains uh, from rotation but uh, in uh, ib syllabus more stress on concept of torques only there is no elaborated discussion related to moment of inertia or combination of rotational and uh, linear motion okay uh, gravitation property of solids uh, the difficulty level of these two topics are almost similar in j uh, curriculum and ib curriculum thermodynamics again uh, there is detailed discussion of thermodynamics and kinetic theory of gases in j mains curriculum uh, but in uh, ib curriculum these two topics are of moderate difficulty level and sir um, yes. sorry to interrupt yes. my question to you is when we are talking about uh, the ib syllabus from an ib point of view we are talking about physics at higher level or standard level right right actually actually if we uh, go for uh, high hl and sl uh, level of physics so there are only some extra included topics okay, okay. like uh, if you go through uh, ib curriculum for sl level uh, in oscillations only limited phenomena is there but for hl level or higher level Uh, there are some more concepts included similarly in case of electrostatics and magnetic concept also and few questions are of higher difficulty level but if we compare with uh, j mains question it is totally different okay because ib questions are uh, more or less analytical like based on graphical analysis or some data analytics kind of questions so these uh, particular questions you are talking about data analytics and graphs are these important for j main or is it really not that important okay look if we compare uh, the graph based question in j mains and graph based question in ib okay so in j mains a concept is given 
and a student is supposed to produce a graph based on that concept okay in case of ib a graph is already given a student have to draw some information from that graph so there is very fundamental difference uh, between these two uh, curriculums okay yes okay so, yeah similarly we can go through all these topics okay in j mains uh, or in j curriculum all these topics are in very fine details and in uh, ib curriculum uh, the quest, uh, topics are briefly introduced okay we don't get in fine details of these topics uh, there are some additional topics in j mains like communication system and electronic devices on the other hand we get some different topics in ib curriculum which is not included in uh, j mains uh, that is uh, energy generation or sankey diagrams etc okay so this is basic comparison between uh, j and ib curriculum topic wise okay so for an ib student which topics or specific uh, units of j main uh, physics uh, an ib student should focus more towards or give more attention yes okay so if i talk about a beginner like any student who is just entering in ib curriculum and trying to uh, target is j mains so a student can begin with uh, more focus on mechanics first of all so uh, he or she must do mechanics in very uh with detail after that uh, thermodynamics is very important topic and then uh, oscillations and wave and uh, after uh, uh, finally electrostatics and magnetic concepts also okay so we know that ib is a very rigorous program and it's highly comprehensive highly detailed so my question to you is that should an ib student who's uh planning to crack j main take a drop out year after the uh, diploma program or do it while preparing because it can get quite hectic and it's practically uh, very difficult for an ib student to uh, work for both j main and ib the course itself right right actually uh if we uh, talk about ib uh, curriculum definitely there are a lot of task related to uh, ib curriculum and students are supposed to uh, work according to that like at final stage students are supposed to submit ia right and in ia projects they have to conduct some experiment or some theory verification and writing a lot of reports related to that so definitely this is very rigorous uh, curriculum Uh, but if a student is targeting for j mains okay so it is not very difficult for hard working and dedicated students but if someone is easy going with j uh, ib curriculum then definitely he must take a drop out if his target is uh, j mains okay so uh, let's say a student has a physics uh, at the standard level can he or she uh, crack j main or is it compulsory for an ib student to have physics hl which is at the higher level right interesting one uh, please see uh, i don't think this uh, sl or hl level is going to make any big difference as okay. far as j main is concerned the important point is uh, a student need to change fundamental approach okay, okay. if i try to explain this please see when a student enter in ib curriculum first suggestion he gets that purchase a graphic calculator of 150 to 160 dollars that graphic graphical calculator is going to do integration quadratic uh, equation solving or uh, limited uh, logarithms or graph plotting right but j mains students are supposed to do all these things by themselves right so if you are in j ib curriculum 
then you just need to change your fundamental approach. You need to give up all these luxuries you have. Okay, like most of the IB students rely on uh, formula seat in their exams. But J means students are supposed to remember all those equations or derive all those equations. Okay. Okay. And doing good calculation is very important factor in J means exam because time management is very important. So if I, IB student having target for J means, then he or she must change the fundamental approach. But won't that affect with the uh, preparation for IB uh, diploma? Definitely. Program? Look, look, definitely that, uh, that is going to affect. Okay. Because in J means, if you look at the question or in CBSC curriculum, definitely they do, they give you some uh, data uh, which a student can easily solve. Right. But in IB curriculum, as uh, the uh, person who is uh, preparing questions knows very well that a student is going to use the calculator. So they use very complex data. OK, but what my suggestion is definitely you need to use the, all those things uh, which are mandatory, mandatory but uh, you need to practice uh, by uh, question uh, by doing yourself also, okay. which is important. OK, uh, I mean, it's quite evident but I have to ask, who has the clear advantage? Uh, definitely, CVSC students has a clear advantage in J mains. Uh, most of the curriculum is based on J mains. Even uh, the key book for uh, CVSC curriculum is NCERT. And in J mains, we get 80% questions based on uh, that concept directly. Sir, uh, my uh, final question to you is, do you think an IB student can crack JEA? Why not? Right. IB students can, can definitely crack JEA mains. But what I told you earlier, they just need to change their fundamental approach. Right. Only uh, getting brief introduction of concept or solving uh, IB questions are not sufficient. If you are targeting J means, you need to get into the details. Okay. Right. That's important. If you just change the fundamental approach, any IB student can crack J means exam. Okay. Thank you so much, sir. Okay. Thank you.